Yo, what is going on guys? It's your man Twisted Drifter. Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you guys may know, the Hot Wheels expansion was debuted yesterday for Forza Horizon 3. It is dropping on May 9th, guys. So, just wanted to go into a quick overview of what all is coming with this, guys, and fix a few misconceptions about this new DLC. It's been very controversial, and a bunch of people are thinking it's going to be on the same map. But that's why we are here on Forza's website with the actual announcement, guys. It says right here that players travel to a brand new location in Australia. Which means, guys, it is not override, overrunning any of the new map, current map. It is giving us an entire new section just for these. Now, I also read in another article that there are six different islands that we can travel to. All of them connected by the Hot Wheels track, guys. So that is going to be huge. There was also a Hot Wheels Goliath as well, guys. So let's go and just get into this and watch this video, guys. There's also a live stream coming from Turn 10 on May 8th. But without further ado, guys, let's get into this video. And let me point out some things that I actually noticed when I was watching it. Without further ado, guys, let's get into that. Alright, guys, so here it is. So, as you can see, when we boot in, we do have the shot of the three Hot Wheel cars here. We've got Bone Shaker right here. We've got Twin Mill here. And we've got Rip Rod. Twin Mill, I'm most excited for because it it's because of the two 502 motors. How about two big blocks that are poking on it out of each side? Most powerful car in Forza history. Coming stock. 1400 horsepower right out of the box. That thing's going to be monstrous. Now as you guys can see here, we do have what looks to be a crisscross crash section. Those of you who had Hot Wheels tracks as a kid know exactly what this is. What this means when you're racing. For those of you who don't, expect some crazy things to happen like you're about to see here. Uh, also, as you guys look and see here, it looks like they may be implementing some new crash physics. Because I'm not sure how you're going to go and see. I've never seen a car in Forza just go and crash and flip over like that. So I'm not sure if there's new crash physics involved. Or if this is just something the devs did. I'm hoping that it's not just something they did and it's actually new physics. Because that would make things way more intense. And a lot more fun. Here we got a nice shot of the speed boost belt, guys. I can't remember what the, exactly they called it, but nice shot of the speed boost. The orange track just, oh my god. Now we got our first shot of the Zonda R. That thing, first time it's been in Forza since. Forza 4, if I'm not mistaken, guys. Now we've got the Hilux and the Zenvo ST1 showing up. Beautiful cars right there. Now, there's a certain car in here, guys, that I need to show off to you. Right there, you can see the E49 Charger and the new Mustang. Or the 05 Mustang Hot Wheels. Got the Trailhawk coming in. And we're almost to the part that I need to pause it on here, guys. Because there is something massive that a lot of people are not noticing. Right here. This part here, guys. This car... A lot of people are overlooking it, thinking it's just one of the other cars in the pack. Now, it when they announced it, guys, they only showed nine cars. This one here, there is a barn find for this expansion, guys. And I'm thinking this here is the barn find. The 1932 Ford 3 window coupe. That car was leaked in the game files, guys. And I know my Fords, especially the classic hot rods, this is what that is. A lot of people aren't paying attention to it. They're just watching the video, overlooking this very small detail, already showing us what is in the DLC spawn find. I've been hyped for this car for a very long time. Always been a fan of the classic hot rods, and they're finally giving us a proper hot rod in here. If they give us the right customizability. Hopefully they do. Because I'm ready to go and get a classic hot rod in here guys. 
Let's get back into this. As you can see, we've got the Hilux coming in, about to jump in front of them. Nice shot showing that in there. We got a reverse, en reverse car on the track. Now we've got, a, this looks like a pretty nice area. Not sure where exactly this is, but I am hyped for this, guys. We've, oh, we've got the fire rings. Fire rings are going to be nice, guys. Now there is something at the end of the trailer that a lot of people just did not pay attention to. We do have a dinosaur coming in, guys. We got the mechanical dinosaur from the Hot Wheels tracks coming in. Let's go and do this. Now this scene here, guys, was replicated from the one of the old Hot Wheels movies. This is where they they got this scene here from one of the old Hot Wheels movies where the cars are going the other direction on the vertical wall. But as you guys can see here, we do have the mechanical dinosaur. Definitely excited to see that. I've got the expansion pass, guys. We'll definitely be doing a Let's Play series of the Hot Wheels expansion on the channel as soon as this thing drops, guys. I am pumped. N did not expect this to hit the channel. So if you guys are as hyped as I am to see this hit the channel and hit on Forza Horizon 3 on May 9th. Leave a like, comment down below what you guys want to see in the from this series, and anything else that you any questions, comments, whatever you guys have, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your man Twisted Drifter. I'm out.